Hey, this is Chad from Skill, and I'm bringing you a video on Soulforge. Now, Soulforge is a game that you, well, it's a card game that you can play on your iPad, iPhone, or on Steam. And the, there's a new app for, or the app just came out for iPhone for uh, Soulforge. And I believe you can play it on, I'm not sure if you can play it on Android yet. I don't think you can. I think it's for iPad, iPhone, and Steam right now. So, uh, for those of you who have never heard of this game, uh, it's kind of like magic. Not really. It has a very different approach to cards, to card games. Um, I can't actually compare it to anything, but you know, it's it's pretty fun and it's very simple, very easy to pick up. And uh, this game, sorry for yawning. Um, this game is pay t free to play, pay to win. So something like around those lines. Something that is like I don't know why this is here. It's bugged, but it's fine. Um essentially it's a digital card game and you build your collection and you make your deck and you play against online people. And why do you play against online people? It's for the fun of it, I guess, if you like to play this game. And also you have daily rewards for those free to play players, such as myself, I guess. I mean I bought like three packs. So I'm technically not free to play anymore, but I mainly don't spend money on this game. So, and this game is very convenient because you can play it on your iPad and iPhone. So that's always very nice. So uh, in play, the play menu you have create game or quick play. Quick play basically selects the option you chose when you created a game. Your last selection. So if you want random online match, you can click this button again to go for a random online match again. <coughs> So for the store, you have deck slots, and you start off with six, and um, you can get more. Uh, if you're not pay to pay to play, so like you're free to play, I don't think that you'll have to buy extra slots. I haven't bought extra slots, and I don't have six completed decks yet. So, and also, um, since it's a digital card game, you don't have to like. You can own three of one card and have that three in every single deck you own. So, uh, you don't have to like switch them out or whatever as you do in real life and <clears throat> so this game uh, let's see what else do I need to talk about let's talk about the booster packs because everyone likes that so there are three booster packs there are basic packs normal packs and premium pa booster packs so basic comes with two commons or here I'll click it contains three cards including at least one rare card chance to open a heroic or legendary so if you play um, magic legendary would be like Mythic and <clears throat> Heroic would be rare, and rare would be uncommon, and common is common. Um, if you play Vanguard, it'd be like Legendary is triple R, Heroic is double R, rare is rare, and common is common. So <clears throat> these are free, cause like like free as in like they don't cost real money, cause you can buy them with 90 silver, and I have 32,000, and that's not a lot of silver to be honest because a lot of people who've played longer, because I've only been playing this game for a month and uh, I have a pretty big collection so I'll show you my collection later but for now let's talk more about this. Uh, these packs have a very low chance of getting a heroic or a legendary or a double R or triple R or le mythic and rare. So, well actually, yeah, mythic or rare. So don't ex don't feel bad if you're going to like buy a pack. So yeah, I'll buy one right now and I was planning on opening a few on on, on video just to show you guys. So congratulations you got this and you can open pack. Let's see if I get anything. Oh I got a heroic because I'm good at this game. Uh, so see this oh actually I upgraded two cards. Okay I'll explain this later. Uh, see this uh, green triangle is common. This uh, blue cross thing is rare and this yellow star is heroic. So uh, this is actually, I mean, actually, this is a card that I don't have yet. So, um, you see, there's three versions of this card. In this game, when you <clears throat> when you play a card from your when you play a card from your hand, it, that exact copy will be upgraded the next time you draw it, and you'll deck refresh very frequently every four turns. So you can, um, yeah, so you deck refresh every four turns. So then you can draw your more powerful spells and whatnot as they grow. So. Um, this is basically how this game works and your deck has 30 cards and you get to play two cards every turn from a five card hand and you draw five new cards every turn after you play your five you discard the rest of it or after you play your two you discard the rest of your hand 
unless you have cards that specifically say that it does not contribute to your two cards a turn. So mm, I got a heroic there, which is pretty good and unlikely to happen, so I'm going to try again and see if I get another heroic so I can explain what this is about. Okay, so on... Oh, God damn it! <laughs> okay, this is good enough. Um, on an average pack, you will get... Uh, oh, wow, this card is so good. Each creature you control... What? Okay, it's one, two, and four. Oh, it's not bad, actually. Anyways, um, <clears throat> the way that works is that you're supposed to get two commons and one uh, rare, and most of the time you will. So that's that, and that's essentially what I was going to go explain. Now, you can buy it for, with real money, but that's really silly because you can buy it for silver. Uh, a normal booster pack can, comes with eight cards with at least two rare cards and a heroic chance to open a legendary card. So uh, I don't have gold right now because I don't buy gold much. Uh, I bought it on sale, so it was half price, so why not? And, you know, got to, gotta, you know, spot not sponsor, uh, support the games I play, right? So this this pack, um, it's okay. I mean, it's not the greatest. You get one heroic guaranteed, but this pack contains one legendary at least. So you can roll multiple legendaries from these. Like uh, my friend has gotten two legendaries from these before, but also for basic pack, um, I have rolled a legendary and a heroic. So that's like really really crazy. When you're on, when you're supposed to only have actually, I think I can find that. I have that picture on my desktop. One sec, one sec here. Uh, final study. Is it this one? Okay, this is the one. Uh, I got two heroics, so you see the two yellow stars, and then this one is the one where I got a legendary and a heroic. So it's very possible. So don't don't feel um, discouraged to be like, oh, whatever. You just have to pay to win. Uh, as true as that may be, um, you still can do pretty well without it. So premium booster, uh, I bought three of them when they were on sale for half price. Premium boosters are expensive; they're like fifteen dollars a pop. Oh yeah, without sale. So I got them for seven dollars. So I spent twenty bucks and I got a bit of change left. Um, and I pulled three legendaries from it, but that's not the point. And then they come. The the next thing on the menu are faction decks. So in Soulforge, there are four factions, or four clans, or four colors, four series. I don't know, whatever whatever you're used to. Um, four types. So there's Aloyan, which uh, if you play Magic, it's kind of like white or blue. There's Utera, which is green, and Necrium, which is black, and Tempest, which is uh, red. So. They all feature their own special ability, so Utera mainly focuses on growing creatures that grow periodically, like at a certain point every time, or at a certain point in the game. And it also um, buffs attack and life. Wait, yeah, attack and health. So the they they make really resilient creatures, but um, and they also feature swarming. So you can play one card and you get another for free, and you can click to see the deck list and stuff. So they come with two legendaries each for fifteen dollars ish. It's a, it's around fifteen dollars, and it's it's not too bad. I I mean like I would never buy it just because like I'll explain this. Uh, this Necrium one because of this card called Grimgon Devourer and it's a legendary. I opened two of these from basic packs, so it's very possible to get all these nice cards. Um, so yeah, uh, moving on, Aloyan features effect negation, card draw, and armor. Armor is um, just a thing in the game. <clears throat> it's like it's like having um, it's like having an ability basically. It's it it blocks damage and stuff. Uh, Necrium fo features mainly hard creature removal and minus life minus health. Oh, wait, minus attack minus health. So if you played Magic, you would understand that. Um, a creature with regenerate, if you died from minus health or minus toughness, um, it would die and not come back. Or if it was indestructible, if it had zero toughness, it would die. It's similar to that, except things don't have regenerate in that same sense. And the next one is Tempe's, which features um, haste, which is called aggressive in this game. Uh, mainly it comes from Tempe's. Mobility, which is the ability to move around, because like in ZX, after you play your card, you are not allowed to move your card left and right. 
or in Vanguard, I guess, if you count left and right, but you can move up and down, so it's kind of different. Uh, and they also feature burn, so it's like deal five damage to something. So um, the next you have skins. There's it's kind of like your it's kind of like your uh, play mats, and you can buy them with silver or buy them with gold. Uh, you can buy, so it's pretty affordable to be honest. So I can buy two, but I I don't choose to use any of those. Uh, they look pretty nice. If I was to get one, I'd get this one but I'm not going to. So these are event tickets. So they cost a lot of silver and <clears throat> how much is this anyways? So I'm gonna go click buy gold. Let's let's take a look. Uh five bucks you get one thousand three hundred. So one thousand three hundred buy but this a bad one sec. Five five one K one point three. Oh it's exactly five tickets, isn't it? This times five is one zero yeah. It's five tickets. So you get five tickets, one ticket for a dollar basically. Similar to Magic the Gathering Online if you play that, and I used to, so. And I'm guessing this one is a, just a tad cheaper. It's like a hundred gold cheaper, but. Um, and anyways, so what do you use these tickets for? You use them to play in tournaments, which they have just added like today, which is why I wanted to do it. So you have Constructed, which is, um, here. Choose a deck from your saved decks to play in this tournament. Play a three round play three rounds and win prizes based on your final record. How much it is to join? Three event tickets, which is fairly cheap. So I'm guessing like first place gets like five tickets back or something, I would assume. Um or like I don't know. I don't actually know how this works, because it's just for it just released today. Although there have been like spoilers and explanations. And draft is similar to drafting in Magic and or Vanguard, I guess, except you don't draft with other people. You draft against you draft against a pool of cards and then you play against other people though. So there's no hate drafting and all that stuff, so and um the way it works is that you can only have two factions in your deck, no matter if it's constructed or draft. So the moment you pick up your first card, you'll be seeing more cards from that color and three other ones. The second you choose your second color, you'll only see the two cards from those two colors. Or you'll only see cards from those two factions. Oh, it's hard when you play so many card games. Um, so anyways, uh, let's see. Create a card, a 30 card deck from a selection of random cards and play against opponents who did the same. You do not use the, the decks or cards from your current collection. Cards you pick are added to your collection. Play three rounds and win prizes based on your final record. And this is seven seven tickets, so seven dollars to join, or two hundred eighty thousand silver, which sounds like a lot, and it is. But it's basically so that if you want to be free to play, uh, you can draft for free, but it's not very likely that you'll be doing a lot. And for the daily rewards, you have a chance of getting random packs, random uh, singleton cards, or random tickets, and uh, you also gain a random amount of silver. It's like on average, one day gives you 4,000 silver, on average, from what I have seen so far. Uh, and now I'm going to go look at the deck builder. So the deck builder is basically your collection. So I'm going to put my deck box, this is the cards, okay, this is low logo. So you see I have factions and rarities, so I'm going to just set sort by rarity, because that's the way you do it most of the time. Uh, if you click this button, you'll see them in picture form which will lag the crap out of my computer so I won't do it so I'll do it for this one so you can see like all my pretty cards and whatnot this is the like, deck I'm currently using and uh... yeah so you can look at the pretty cards that way or you can look at in list form which doesn't lag the crap out of your computer so this red symbol means legendary so it's here triple R or you, you guys skip the drill so I have played for roughly a month maybe exactly a month right now it's around there, a bit less or a bit more, I don't know. And I've bought three packs of the premium packs, so I got three um, legendaries that were from packs that I bought with real money. So let's count these three guys out, and I'm going to go new, so then you guys can see. How, see, it says zero Scorchman Dragons, but in reality I have one, because that was in my deck. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, minus three is nine. So I have nine legendaries and a bajillion heroics. Like I have lots. But that's not actually a well like for a free to play player and the fact that I've only played for about a month, this is a lot. Uh, I'm not gonna count this because there are a lot of them. Like I have four ofs of this card, which is really good by the way. But uh yeah. 
So I'm going to move on, and since uh, the new patch brought new cards, and I don't think I'm going to be buying event tickets with silver. If I really want to draft, I'll spend my $7 to buy tickets and draft with it. So uh, Actually, so 10 tickets is exactly enough for one draft in one tournament, isn't it? Let me check. I think it was. It was 3 for... Yeah, so that's not bad. I might do that later, just to go find... Oops, that's the wrong, that's the wrong tab. Oh, back. Store. Yeah, I might do that later, if you guys want to see that. So, like opening a booster box, I'm going to buy as many basic packs as I possibly can. And I'm going to open them for you guys, because... Yeah, see, it's 30, 30 packs. It's like a booster box. I'm going to actually only go 20, because I might want to... Ah, screw it. Nah. 20. Yeah, I'll go 20. 20? Yeah, good enough. So I, I've been saving up silver for a while because there were new cards added, so let's let's open some packs. So, oh, this is a new card. This card is a new card. So that's nice that I got it. Uh, this is a rare. The rare that you're supposed to get. And, okay, so after you open your pack, you can click open next pack, or you can go view cards in deck builder. But I'm just going to keep opening packs, and let's see. Let's see in 20 packs, let's see how many um, heroic or legendary that I get. So you're not supposed to get a lot of them. I'm going to get a dice to count it. Probably won't go over 6, and if I do, I'll be really happy. Um, but a lot of the common and rare cards are very, are quite powerful. Like this guy is pretty good as a rare, or uncommon, or rare, <laughs> depending on what game you're from. I'm going to keep opening packs. Well, this is a new card too. Yeah, this card is pretty is pretty decent. And this card is the card I was talking about. So free means free does not a free card does not count towards your two cards two cards plays per turn. I think this is a typo. Um so some cards have free on them. So that's how you can play more than two cards. Let's go again. Let's go. Come on. So I'm gonna count oh, okay. This card I need to talk about. And I'm very happy that I pulled it because I only own two right now. So I'm going to count the heroic I pulled earlier, so that's one so far, and uh, I'm going to explain this card, okay? This card used to be really broken, because it says, when you play a level 1 Necrium card, you may have target creature and opponent controls get minus 3 attack and minus 3 health. So this is a free ability every time you play a card, but it's changed that it's a Necrium card, so it has to be from the same clan, faction, or race, or whatever. Uh, before it wasn't, so the top deck was this this guy and the, the red one, the red version of it, which dealt 4 damage every time you played a card. But they have to be cards that are one level lower, but it's not really that big of a deal, because the deck you build around it is actually really powerful, and it does it just fine. So, very happy that I pulled my third one, though, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need it to make that deck. No, nope, it's another Contagion Surge. Nothing, nothing too big here. Nether's Embrace. This card's very good. Uh, it comes in your starting. All right, and you get um, starting cards. You get like five heroics, I think, and they're not amazing, but it, it'll it'll suffice. This card is pretty good. Um, gives plus two plus two to cards adjacent to it. So if you guys didn't see from the from the uh, playmats before, it's a five on five board. So this is yours and this is your opponent's. So adjacent would be these two if he was in the center. And let's go back to opening some more packs. 14 more to go. Let's see what I get. <laughs> Another Contagion Surge. I opened a playset already. But I own like 20 of them. Oh, I got a Heroic. So, that's two. This I also needed this card, so I'm quite happy. Um, so this this card floods the playing field with 1-1s. One -ones, and you might think that's not very useful, because when they attack, they'll just kill each other. Uh, but then you can put buffs on yours, or kill all of theirs, like with a global... global um, wipe. And also, uh, sometimes you'll get a rare and a heroic. This means that my common upgraded from common to heroic. Most of the time, your rare will upgrade to a heroic, but if you get it like this, it's technically more value. Let's go. So that's two so far. Oh, Energy Surge. This card is very good. Draw a card, draw two cards, draw three cards, and it's free on level two and level three. So this card is actually very, very good. And I have my playset already, so. Unfortunately, not very useful. Technosmith. And, and this is a savant, so it says when you play an alloying card, you may have another target creature you control get two armor. So savant is um, the name of the cards that do such things where you play a card of lower level. Um, savants are very good, and Technosmith is very good too. 
He features a very Aloyan type esque ability. So whenever Technosmith enters the battle and uh, enters the field, you may discard a card and level it. So uh in a sense you level two cards by playing one card, but you get a two two at level one, which is horrible. But at level two you get an eight eight, which is really good. And at level three it's pretty huge at fifteen fifteen. So that's a very good card. Wind Permonal uh oh sick. Okay, I need one more of these. So this guy has aggressive. And aggressive means a creature with aggressive is always on the offensive. Okay, that doesn't help. Basically, it attacks every time it's able to attack. And it doesn't have summoning sickness. And this card is new too. While Vanguard, ar while Tower Vanguard has armor, it gets fought to attack. Hmm, interesting. This is a new card that I've never seen before. So, uh, yeah, this card is pretty good. I'm glad I got one because I needed another one for my playset. And I'm a really bad at opening commons. Like, I cannot open commons for my life. Siphon Augmentation. This card is also free. I wonder how many packs I have left. I think I have like seven, maybe? Nope. Blightwalker is pretty good. And this card has mobility, so if it doesn't have summoning sickness, you can move it to one square beside it, which is very useful, but this card is not, unfortunately. This card has like Death Touch, which is another thing that's featured in this game, similar to Magic, I might add. Oh sweet, another Life Shaper Savant. Okay, so this card is a Savant for green, and it gives plus 3 plus 3 and plus 5 plus 5 respectively. Very good, I needed more of these. Luckily I'm getting some pretty decent rares, which is not bad. Oh, this card's new. When a trauma enters the field, if there's a controller with 3 or less attack, this creature gains plus 3 plus 3. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Um, So it, if, it's, if it comes out on the battlefield and your opponent has a card with three or less attack, it becomes a 6-8, which is pretty huge. Um, and also there's a lot of cards that have three or less if you're playing against Aloyan, because they feature a lot of weak power cards, but they have good effects. So, like Technosmith, as you guys saw. Another Steel Shaper Savant. And there's this, like, crunchy, crunchy pack opening sound when you click open next pack. So I like that. Don't know if Vegas can hear that, but uh, you guys might also hear my dad laughing outside. He does that a lot. Okay. Oh, this card's new, but I saw it already. So I'm looking for a card, but I forget what rarity it is. I think it was a rare. Oh, I'm out of packs. So in 20 packs, I got two heroics. So that's like what 10% is it? 20 packs, you got two. 10% is it? I'm bad. Wait. I have 10. So, in 10 packs, I opened 1. Yeah, it's 10%. Okay. Good. I'm not crazy. Alright, so I'm going to spend the rest of my money because I still didn't open the card I want yet. So, let's just max out and open some more packs. So, you guys get to see me blow all my silver, which is fine. Ooh. Got a, got a heroic. Okay. So, that's 3. Restless Wanderers. I love this card, but unfortunately you need a playset or else it's useless. Whenever another Restless Wanderers enters the c you control enters the field, this creature gains plus 3 plus 3, plus 6 plus 6, and plus 9 plus 9. So, um, basically you need to play a lot of them at this, like, turn after turn. So once again, I got a Heroic and a Rare, so that's quite nice. I guess. Oh yeah! I got another Heroic. So this is Root Forged Avatar. So Avatars are in all clans, and they have the ability when it, when it enters the field, it gets plus one plus one for each card of that faction in your hand and an additional ability. This one has breakthrough, which is trample. So like if your your guy is a seven seven and he attacks through a one one, they take six directly to their face. So very happy that I got a root forged. Um, this finishes my playset, which is pretty nice, considering I haven't bought a single single one of these or I haven't gotten a single one of these off of bought like a real money pack. Hungry Strike is... Oh, fat, got it. Okay. So, Metasite. Discard up to two cards and level them. This is essentially um, Technosmith, except you can... Uh, it's not on a body, and it levels up one more card. So, at level three, it's free. Eh. I don't know. I think that it levels very poorly, because level one and two are the same. Which means that you don't have to play it at all, if you don't want to, in the earlier game. So, uh, that's why the level three is free. So it gives you the bonus of you being able to play this. But at level 3, unless you've been playing it turn after turn, 
Oh, uh, I'm actually going to test for this card because I think this card actually has a lot of potential. But essentially, you use it in a level up deck, and it's not bad. So, some commons like this card is a very good common. It has 20, it's a 2018 with 4 armor at level 3, which rivals the stats of like an actual good level 3. So, so, some of them are good. Some commons are very good. So, don't be discouraged that your deck has a lot of commons. Although, my deck has like 2 commons in it because mainly they're like rare, heroic, and legendary, but that's not the point. Okay. Technosmith, one of my favorite cards. Tech upgrade's good too. I might put another one, but I don't think I will. This card got a buff recently, and they can buff cards because, um, what's a creature you control? It's not another creature you control. Okay, so my friend just logged into Soul Forge. He probably heard about the update then. Anyways, so let's see if I can get a legendary today. No legendaries. Oh, got another one of these guys, but I have too many of them now. Nope, nothing here. Let's keep going. Come on, legendary. Show me a legendary. Legendary. Okay, so I have a play set of these now, which is quite nice. Legendary? No, no legendaries yet. Come on, show me a legendary. <sighs> and I'm out of packs. So, I just bought, was it 15 on the second go? So it was like 35. And I got four four heroics. So heroics are basically about 10%, if not higher. But it is very possible to, oh, that was 13. So 33 packs and I got four heroics. So um, it's very possible to actually get heroics in cuz think if you think about it um in 2 days you get 8000 silver approximately wait it's more than that now if you can win online matches cuz if, if you win your first like the first online match you win you get extra 500 silver so technically if you could win those somehow i guess you could grind enough that you hope your opponent times out or something cuz sometimes that happens they like queue and forget um uh, cuz then it's very unlikely that you'll win an online match with the basic um basic trial decks. So, say that it's 4,500 on average um one day. So, in 2 days you get 9,000. So, you buy 10 basic boosters. That's a 10 one like the the percent chance you can fill the 10% chance that you need to help pull a heroic. So, I guess that kind of makes it so like you get one heroic every two days if you think about it that way of course it's all luck like most card games and as you can see like I've opened a pretty I think this one was I think this picture is the one that I opened yeah I opened two heroics in the normal pack which is not bad but of course the the, the main thing is really no it's not this one this one where I got a legendary and a heroic which was very entertaining for me because, yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. I might uh, make a video of myself going into Constructed Queue and whatnot, so you guys can stay tuned if you enjoyed it. Uh, hit the like, thumbs up, all that stuff. I don't remember what it does. Like, thumbs up, favorite, whatever. And if you guys want to see more of this, I will be playing I will be playing this um, on occasion, but I won't be video of it, videoing it. Tomorrow I'm going to go play a Waste Shores tournament, so I'll tell you guys how that goes later. And on Saturday I'm playing in the Vanguard Team Tournament. So lots of different card games for me to play, and I hope you guys have a great uh, holiday season, and I'll see you guys next time.